Hi all, this is the sixth part of module 1 and today we will try to derive the density of states of 3D bulk semiconductor structures. Before that I will try to refresh the fundamentals in quantum mechanics. In the classical picture, electrons are particles that follow Newton's laws of mechanics. But in reality, electrons have the dual properties that is wave and particle characteristics. And the wave function for free electron, it can be expressed as psi of k comma r which is equal to cos of vector k into r plus i sin of vector k into r. And r is the position in x, y and z coordinates and k it is a vector space or wave vector kx, ky and kz. Then the wave vector k can be expressed as mass into velocity divided by h bar. m is the mass and v is the velocity of the particle and h bar is a reduced Planck's constant which is equal to h divided by 2 pi. h is a Planck's constant. Okay. So, there is difference between h and h bar. Then this equation can be written as p divided by h bar where p is the electron momentum or we can written as uh, the momentum p is equal to vector k into h bar. Then we can relate wave vector with energy as uh, energy is equal to half mv square or it can be written as p square divided by 2m. We know the momentum is equal to k into h bar. Therefore, energy is equal to vector space k square h bar square divided by 2m. Okay. Then the electron wave function need to satisfy this Schrodinger wave equation. Using this wave equation, we can explain the wave behavior of moving particles or electrons. The Schrodinger wave equation is used to find the allowed energy levels of quantum mechanical system and it also gives the probability of finding electron at a certain position. So here I have given the one dimensional Schrodinger's time independent wave equation which is equal to uh, the second derivative of wave function with respect to x plus 2m divided by h bar square multiplied with e minus v into psi which is equal to 0. The psi is a wave function and E is the energy and V is the potential. Okay. Please note this equation because it is very important in quantum mechanics. If we know the wave function then we can obtain almost all the physical properties of the system. Okay. Now I am going to derive the density of states of 3D bulk semiconductor. So the density of states uh, it is the number of energy states at a particular energy level per volume and it will have a unit of energy per unit volume that is per EV per centimeter cube. Consider a semiconductor sheet uh, take one axis along x axis uh, the electron will have wave propagation and if you take the boundary condition one boundary condition is uh, when the wave approaches the edges of the semiconductor the wave propagation has to go to zero okay means k times lx that should be an integral multiple of pi that is k lx is equal to n times pi that is k is equal to vector space k is equal to n pi divided by l and n can be 0 1 2 etc now in the k space we will have kx ky and kz. Now consider the energy states in the k space. It occupies as this cube its uh, 3D structure. If n is equal to 1, the vector space across x will be pi over lx. Then across y will be pi over ly and across z axis will be pi over lz. So the volume of this cube, simple cube will be pi over lx multiplied with pi over ly multiplied with pi over lz. Consider it is isotropic in nature that is we can take 
एल एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल वाई इज इक्वल टू एल इज विच कैन बी इक्वल टू कैपिटल एल इट कैन बी रेप्रसेंटेड एस कैपिटल एल इन ऑल द एक्सिस ओके दे फोर ईच ऑफ द स्टेट ऑक्यूपाई ए वॉल्यूम ऑफ पाई ओवर एल द हॉल क्यूब इन द केस पेज ओके Now we need to calculate number of energy states in a given volume. Consider we have a sphere in the case space, and we need to calculate the number of energy states within this given portion of sphere. Here, the number of states can be calculated based on this equation. There is a given volume of case space that is selected case space divided by volume of single energy state. Selected case space is nothing but one by eighth of the sphere. It is one by eight into volume of sphere. That is one by eight into four divided by three into pi into r cube. That is a radius of sphere. In generic, we can write it as uh, radius along x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis in case space. K x into k y into k z. That is a vector distance across x, y, and z-axis. Whole divided by the volume of single energy state that is pi over l the whole cube one more thing it's very important because uh, we need to multiply this number by 2 because each of the state can be occupied by at least two electrons due to the spinning that is spin up electron or spin down electron due to the spinning rate two of the electrons can occupy the same energy state or the same energy level Now again, if the sphere is isotropic in nature, that is k x is equal to k y is equal to k z, which can be represented as vector space k. Then this equation can be written as n is equal to that is number of states n is equal to pi multiplied with k cube divided by three multiplied with l over pi the whole cube. so we have calculated number of states within the given volume now we need to calculate the number of states per unit energy because from the definition itself density of states is the number of energy states within the particular energy level and within the given volume that is density of states or dos of 3d structure is equal to 1 by volume multiplied with dn divided by de okay Now we are interested in finding the number of states within the bulk 3D structure. Consider a bulk 3D semiconductor slab of dimension L x is equal to L y is equal to L z. All the dimensions are equal along all the axes, or which is equal to capital L. Then dos of 3D is equal to one divided by volume, which is equal to L cube multiplied with d n over d e. Using the chain rule, we can write this equation as one by L cube into d n divided by d k multiplied with d k over d e. Okay, we already know this n, capital N. So take the derivative of n with respect to k. That is d n divided by d k, and substitute here. Then we will get one over L cube multiplied with pi k square. Multiplied with L by pi the whole cube multiplied with d k over d e. On rearranging, we get k square over pi square d k over d e. When I started this session, I have discussed the basics of quantum mechanics, and I told you one thing: the energy of electron is equal to h bar square k square divided by two m. Taking derivative with respect to k space. That is d e over d k, which is equal to h bar square k divided by m, or d k over d e, which is equal to m divided by h bar square into k. So our main equation will become dos of 3D structure, which is equal to k square over pi square multiplied with m over h bar square into k, which is equal to m divided by Pi square into h bar square multiplied with k. We know that the energy is equal to h bar square k square divided by 2m. Therefore, k is equal to square root of 2m e 
divided by h bar square so the numerator will become square root of 2m e and the denominator h bar so the main equation will become m divided by pi square h bar square multiplied with square root of 2m e divided by h bar which is equal to m divided by pi square h bar cube multiplied with square root of 2m e we know that the reduced planck's constant is equal to h over 2 pi so the main equation can be written as m divided by in the denominator pi square into h cube divided by 8 pi cube the whole multiplied with square root of 2 me rearranging this equation we can written as 8 pi divided by h cube multiplied with m 3 by 2 multiplied with square root of 2 into square root of energy this is the final equation which is 8 pi square root of 2 into m star the whole raised to 3 by 2 into square root of energy the whole divided by h cube where m star is the effective mass of electron so this is the final equation of density of states of 3d structures and in the next session we will try to derive the density of states of 2d 1d and 0d semiconductor structures thank you